Hey guys, I figured it's been a while since I've done an organizing video, so I thought, you know what, today I'm going to take you through the organization of my dresser. Because I have had it organized, well, for the same way for the past couple of months, and I'm very happy with how it is. It's worked out really well, so I thought it'd be a good time to show you how I have everything placed, you know, what I fold, what I roll, how everything is divided up, and it's just worked out to really help keep things that are hidden inside drawers organized because sometimes when we have drawers things just get kind of thrown in there and it turns into a jumbled mess and it's like you're digging through it trying to find what you want and yeah it can get a little crazy when things are hidden away inside drawers so I thought you know what today I will take you through and show you what I've done with my dresser and maybe it'll give you a few tips for your own dresser so let's go ahead and get started all right guys, so you'll recognize this room. This is where I film all the time. So I film sitting right in front of my dresser. And Michael has his own dresser in our bedroom and this is just where I keep mine with my closet. And you know, it's like my filming room, beauty room, closet. Everything of mine is pretty much in here. So I'm gonna pull back here and you can see how I have it situated. So first I'll give you a quick overview of what I keep on top of my dresser and then we'll move into the drawers. So right over here I have a few items that I got at Ross, just like a mirrored box, a mercury glass candle holder, a couple of candles from Ross also, and a little dish where I store my watch. And then on this side I have my vanity tray, my mirrored vanity tray, which that was a DIY project and I will post that video below in case you want to see how I made it. And then I have just some roses from my garden with another DIY project there. Just a quick close-up overview of what is in like my vanity tray here. I just keep a couple of samples that I want to remember to use. Um, like I have my favorite perfume, my Bootsy Oil, I have my Sparklicity uh, by Tarina Tarantino, and just like a little highlighter and Becca Beach tint, a couple lipsticks, and my Thailand body brush. Um, and then this little vase here, um, well that's a DIY project that I haven't done yet, but you will see that coming up very soon. And then on this side, um, this is the dish that I mentioned. I got this at Ross and I just use it to store, you know, maybe jewelry for the day or my watch or something at night. And then this dish I got at uh, Savers Thrift Store. I just use it to store like my bobby pins and maybe a couple hair things in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the bottom and then we'll work our way up to the top. So this first drawer is probably my least favorite. It's okay, it's not that it's cluttered in here, it's just that color-wise it doesn't look as pleasing to the eye as I would like it to be. Um, it basically just houses all of my winter time scarves and cowls. So I have just some of my heavier, thicker scarves here and then my faux fur cowls on this side. And I just have them rolled up. Now this drawer has all of my winter clothes. So on this side I have my lightweight zip up sweatshirts and then back here I have two lightweight jackets just folded up on top of each other and then here I have my, well this is a faux fur leopard, so it's like a cropped jacket, I got it at Forever 21 years ago and I still love it to this day and it's really thick and bulky so that's the only thing right there in the center. Um, there's nothing under it. And then on this side I have my hoodies and those are just kind of folded and rolled so I just have like a tight fold on them. So that is my winter drawer. And this drawer has my lounge shorts and socks. So nothing too exciting happening in this drawer as far as organization goes. All I do is roll my shorts and my socks are just pretty much just folded in the back and matched up with their pair, which I don't actually have very many socks. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty much in flip-flops or sandals of some kind every day. So those usually don't get much use, which is why they are in the very back bottom drawer. Now this drawer has all of my active wear, so my yoga pants and sports bras, um, any of my workout wear, workout shorts, and it also has my swimsuits. Alright, so you can see this drawer has dividers in it, and this is just pieces of foam board that I cut out, so you can get those big sheets of foam board. In fact, I will show you. Hold on one sec. So to make these dividers, all I use is this foam core board, and you can buy this in sheets at Walmart for about $1.60. It's super cheap. All you do is take a utility knife or X-Acto knife and cut it out to the size of your drawer. And then I just wedge it into the drawer. So it's basically just friction fit, that's it. It's so easy to do. And then because when you cut it, it can have these little 
um, well, you know, you can see the foam inside there, so it's not like a super clean, pretty look. So instead of just leaving that open, I will just take a little spray adhesive and a little bit of fabric, which I use this vinyl fabric, also got this at Walmart, and I will just cut out a strip of it and just spray adhesive that over the top. So it's just a thin little piece, but the rest of the foam board is exposed here, but it's white, so it's white on white, so you can't really see the difference but it just gives it a, a nice clean look. So that's all I do to create these dividers and they're super sturdy and strong. Um, so on this side I have all of my yoga pants organized. So I have my flare leg ones in the front and then my skinny fit ones in the back. Most of them I got at Victoria's Secret, although a couple of them, these two, I got at Costco. I love the Costco ones so whenever you see them there they're really good quality so snatch them up. They're only like 20 bucks. And then I have my shorts and sports bras in the center um, divider here and those I got at, let's see these are from Blockout and I got those in Australia and then I have my swimwear here so I've got um, I only have actually <laughs> I have three bikini bottoms and one bikini top so I'm thinking of getting uh, getting another uh, bikini here sometime and those are from Victoria's Secret but these just really help to keep everything really nice and neat and separated so you don't get you know bikinis like with their strings getting all tangled up elsewhere right so it just makes everything really easy the next drawer has all of my undergarments. So I have all of my bras laid out on that side as well as underwear on that side. And this is, I know it takes up a lot of space, but it's kind of just how I like to do it. I'm not really into like twisting the bras and like folding them over on each other. I kind of just like to have them flat, almost kind of like how Victoria's Secret does it, um, just where they're nicely displayed and you can see exactly what you want to grab for the day. And same thing on this side for my underwear and thongs. I just lay them out flat just because I'm not really one to take a lot of time to fold underwear. I'm kind of just impatient and I just want to lay them out the, fast, the fastest way and that seems to work well for me. And I also have another drawer divider here and that just keeps everything in line, keeps it separated so things aren't getting tangled up. So this drawer houses my shorts, capris, and pants. Currently I have my capris and pants in the very back because I just don't reach for those very much during summertime. So I just like to keep those out of the way back there and I keep all my shorts across the front here. And I used to keep them where they were going vertically back, but then I realized that I wasn't able to see or get to the ones that were in the very back. So I found that if I just switched them so they're going more horizontally, I was able to see all of them all at once as soon as I pulled open the drawer and it was easier to identify what I wanted to wear for the day. So it helps me to be able to get ready faster if I could see them all at once. So how I have my shorts folded up is basically I just fold them in half and then I will just fold them again just enough so I can see the pocket because that makes it easy to identify which pair they are and so I know exactly what I'm looking at and if that's the pair that I want to wear for the day. And then I just kind of tilt them or you know lay them so they're kind of tilted up so they're all just at a slant and at an angle so you can quickly see which pair they are just by looking at the pocket. So I just keep them organized by the dark wash to kind of like the medium wash, stone wash. Um, and then to the khakis, and then a couple of the more kind of fancier sort of shorts, like the crocheted ones or the kind of like white linen ones um, towards this side. I do have a couple of other pair of white shorts that should be in here right now, but they're probably in the dirty clothes. So that is my shorts drawer, shorts, pants, capris, and then once fall comes around again, when it gets a little cooler, then I'll probably switch this, um, probably switch the shorts so they're more vertical, and then I'll have more room for my pants to be more up in the front, since I'll be wearing those more often. This drawer has all of my basic tops and tank tops. So I have all of my tanks on this side, and then it switches to my tees and v-necks, and then I do have some long sleeves back here as well. But basically how I have these organized is just by rolling them, and they just fit in here so perfectly that I didn't have to add any kind of dividers. They just all hold themselves in place with, you know, even if you take one out, they just stay in place. So it's just really an easy way to keep your, your basics organized. I do have my nicer blouses, nicer tops that I like to keep hanging up in the closet. Um, but as for, you know, when you're just looking at the basics, this is a great way, a very easy way to just pull open a drawer and you can immediately see all of your basics and which one you want to wear for the day. As far as like how I roll them, I can show you 
really quickly here. Take the top, lay it out on a flat surface. Like uh, sometimes I'll do it up here on my on my dresser, and it's just really easy to just go ahead and fold it in thirds, fold the strap up, and then grab this side, fold it over, and then when you have the straps that are kind of like you know they're just kind of I don't know wispy. Sometimes if you have camis also those those straps just go ahead and take those wispy straps and just start by folding them over on themselves. Just fold them over the top so you don't really have to deal with rolling those up. Once those are folded over then you can just go ahead and roll from there. And it's just a really easy way to keep them neat and tidy and organized and it's really kind of just pleasing to the eye when you can pull open your drawer and everything's in order by color and you know exactly what you're looking at. Let me tell you, this has just saved me so much time getting ready in the morning. So this drawer has my jewelry in it. So back here I have my ring display with some of my chunky gemstone jewelry, and then I have a half moon bracelet display here and my necklace easel, um, so I can display some of my more fine, um, like more daintier types of necklaces there really easily. And then I have, you know, some places to be able to put cuffs, just a couple of jewelry boxes up in the front there, and a little jewelry box in the back to have some earrings and a few other uh, rings that I didn't want to stick in there. And if you're curious how to make any of these displays in here, uh, I will post that video below because these were all in my DIY jewelry displays video. So I showed how to make the half moon bracelet display, the ring display, and the necklace display. So super easy and a lot of fun and really inexpensive. Um, just a very inexpensive way to get your jewelry organized. So that is my jewelry drawer. Now on to the makeup. And this drawer in the top and center houses the majority of my makeup. So the first thing you might notice is that there is a lot of drawer dividers in here. And like I mentioned, I will post that video below of how I make the drawer dividers. The only difference between that video and what you see here, I mean, I did it exactly the same way. The only difference is I just added extra horizontal dividers and just glued those in. So there's just a whole bunch of those compared to my last drawer where I only had a few of them. So that's the only difference. It's otherwise it's exactly the same way, same method and everything. Um, so I, I just covered the foam board and so that's why you see that these have all of the blue or kind of the minty aquamarine color and then around the sides I just did it in a different color. So you know it just comes down to personalizing it in your favorite types of fabric or favorite colors of fabric and you can have super awesome drawer dividers. Also you'll see here I have a piece of plexiglass and the reason I have this here I just it fits on half of the drawers so I can slide this open and closed. So the reason I have this here is just to create an extra little table space to put on my makeup in the morning because I use my dresser as a vanity also. So I can pull my chair right up here and I pull open my drawer and there's my little vanity top right there. And I'll pull my mirror closer to me uh, which I keep at the corner of my dresser there and I can just after I'm all done putting on my makeup for the morning I just wipe the plexiglass clean so that worked out awesome and my dresser I'm very happy with I think it was the best decision for this room helping to get this room organized so that is my makeup drawer now on to the last and final drawer which is accessories this is my accessories drawer. So I keep some of my hair accessories in here. I have some of my really small scarves that I like to wrap as headbands. And I have some of my fun, these remind me of little like Mexican blankets. Aren't those cute little hair ties? I just think those are so fun. And they're, they're super stretchy too. I got those at Ross for super cheap. They're made in Italy. I just thought they were so fun. My little Mexican blankets. All right, I've got some of my like, you know, like my little bohemian type headbands, like the braided kind. Um, a couple of little hair clippies so when I'm sitting here doing my hair uh, I like to just use these you know to clip it up and whatnot and then I've got a couple other little headbands from Forever 21 and there's lots of extra room in here in case I have you know any more like tiny little summer scarves that need to go in here or, or some other types of hair things. I also have a couple of drawer dividers that I made for this drawer also just to keep everything kind of in line and in their place. So that's everything. 
Alright guys, so that was my dresser tour and organization. I hope that you liked this video and hopefully it sparks some organizing ideas for yourself and your dresser. And if you have any questions regarding how I actually made the dividers, I will post that video link down below. It's really simple and you can make your own organizers and drawer dividers customized to fit your drawer. And it is awesome and it's so inexpensive and easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.